Alrighty, good afternoon and welcome back, back on the garage today. We're not cooking yet. Hopefully we're doing a, uh, a video after this, but uh, what we're gonna do is install the Wi-Fi upgrade for the Pits and Spits Maverick 1250. And uh, I figured I just, I'm gonna attempt to do a step-by-step -step video on how I do the setup. So I'm gonna show you how I program it and I'm just gonna do this right from the instructions. So I might struggle a little bit, hopefully not. But like I said, I'm gonna show you how to program it. There's three different uh, modes you can program it in. It's like a point to point, so your uh, phone works right with the controller. You can hook it up to your Wi-Fi, and then you can hook it up through the cloud. And then obviously you're gonna have to drill a hole in the side of the, uh, the pellet hopper there to mount it. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll start out with step one. Okay, we're back. Uh, step one was to remove that bottom panel. Uh, at least that's why I did it. I took the whole bottom panel off. It's held together. Uh, it's just you know one, two, and then two more screws in the back. So take those screws off, throw them in your pocket, don't lose them because that's what connects that bottom panel. Uh, once you get the bottom panel off, I'm gonna try to get up inside of here and show you. This is gonna be tough. But the Y, you can see that phone cord, it's blurry, but you can see that phone cord. And I can't point either because I'm using one hand to hold the iPad and another hand to use a light. But uh, you basically plug the phone cord in there and then plug the phone cord into your module and get a nice little table here and uh, power it up and then the instructions here uh, they want you to write down uh, the four sets of numbers that goes with it so that's what i did and uh, i'll pick that up when we move on to the next right, step we are back i have successfully completed uh, all three steps uh, step one connecting phone to the controller step two connecting the controller to my wi-fi and then step three was uh going to the uh to the cloud uh, I'm not going to show them. I did some videos and they were really confusing. All I can say, follow these instructions, read the instructions, and uh, it's super easy to do. But now that I do have it successfully connected to my Wi-Fi in the cloud, uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to drill a hole in the side of this and get the same mounted because I do want to cook today. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, that. so we're back. Uh, you can see I got the hole started already. Uh, the measurements I use for this hole, this is about 13 and a half inches uh, wide. So half of 13 and a half, if my math is correct, is six and three quarters. So I made a mark at six and three quarters and I brought it up two inches. So I gotta go ahead and drill my hole now. Uh, something that's important about this is you wanna make sure there's not anything on the other side. Like when you're putting this Wi-Fi module in, you know, you do have your phone cable here. So I just have that tucked underneath one of the uh, sides of the grills. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill my hole. Hole is drilled, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a round file and I'm gonna deburr all these edges. So uh, when we're mounting the board, I'll pick yeah, back up. So I went ahead and uh, deburred those edges just so there are no sharp edges like you know you can cut yourself on. So now I got the board and uh, it comes with, there's a little like nut on the end of it and then there's like a lock washer and then a plastic washer. The uh, the flat side of the plastic washer is gonna go ahead and just gonna stand the board. Give me a minute here, I got big fingers. It's hard for me to do this sometimes. So it's gonna go on like that right from the inside and then plastic washer is going to go through with the you know one side poking out that's why they tell you to drill a, a 3 8 inch hole you're going to put that lock washer oh boy i dropped it sorry about that folks lock washer on we're going to put the nut on and one thing you do want to be careful of when you're doing this is you don't want to over tighten it so i'm going to go ahead and snug it up Just like so. And I'm just gonna take a pair of, uh, of pliers here. I'm just gonna go on it really, really, really light and just give it a, you know, kind of just snug it up. Just like that. And that's not gonna go anywhere. So now it's ready for the intended amount. And again, uh, it's important that you don't over tighten this spot too. Just like that. And then remember to reconnect your phone cable right to that. So that is the end of this install video. I hope this was helpful and insightful. And uh, yeah, like I said, easiest thing to do with this is just follow the instructions. And uh, yeah, you guys and girls have a good day and I'll see you later. And uh, just one real quick thing too, 
uh, you know, when I started living at these grills, you know, I contacted Pits and Spits, and they put me in contact with a gentleman named Kevin Matthews at uh, Unique Meats and Grills. I think I got the name of that right. And he is a dealer here in the great state of Minnesota in Minneapolis. So if anybody watching this video has any kind of questions or is interested in getting one of these Pits and Spits grills, you know, get a hold of Kevin Matthews. Uh, you can get a hold of him on, uh, I believe it's called Pits and Spits Minnesota, or you can go ahead and join our, uh, our Facebook group page, and that is uh, Pits and Spits Pellet Grill Users Group. So now besides that, I'm going to sign off. Have a good night. We'll see you later.